In today's video, I wanna talk about a Xcode productivity tip that I myself use and it saves a ton of time in aggregate. So before we jump into things, drop a like down below, subscribe if you're into iOS and new here. Let me open up Xcode and jump into an existing project I have. So here we are in the Rick and Morty project that I've been working on over the past God knows how many videos at this point. And what I'll do is I'm gonna jump into any view controller. And particularly, we're gonna focus on one, and let me actually, instead of doing a view controller, let me actually find a place in this project where I create something a number of times. So I happen to know that I create a bunch of collection views. You can see here that there's something like six or seven collection views. So let me jump into one of these. And what you'll notice immediately is that it's a reasonable amount of code. Let me find one that's uh, spelt out here. Here we are. It's a reasonable amount of code from here. We're going from line 34 to 51. And presumably we have multiple instances of this boilerplate code typed out. And in fact we do, because I myself have typed it out. So one thing that Xcode makes available to us is snippets. Now, snippets are really helpful not only to um, immediately bring in your own pre-written code, but you can also use it uh, to create your own snippets and to bring in more than just code. So let's take a brief example. So here we have a collection view, and let me just highlight this entire thing. And if I right click it, you're gonna see a bunch of options, and the particular one that we want is create code snippet right here. So what that's gonna do is open up this panel, which is familiar looking, kind of looks like the interface builder um, library where you can select elements, but instead we're working with snippets. So we're gonna wanna give this a name. So we're gonna call this, let's call this RM collection view, RM for Rick and Morty. And on the right, you see the preview of the source that you are saving in this snippet. And then you can also specify things like the language. It should automatically infer, uh, especially because it's Swift. You can also specify the platform that you're targeting. Let's say um, you're only wanting to do this on Mac OS or iOS, but we're gonna stick with all. Um, you can also specify what the completion is. I can go ahead and say RM uh, C O L L E. In other words, what do you need to type to get this to show up? So let me just do R M C capital C and then availability is uh, also which, uh, you know, what scope do you want this to be available? And do you want this to only be available um, in a, a class implementation, perhaps in a, as a, in a function or method, so on and so forth, but I'm going to leave it as all scopes. So once we're done, we'll just hit the done button, which is conveniently right there. And we can just click away. And now when I come down here, let's say I delete this thing, hypothetically we'd be typing it out and I just do an RMC. You'll see here that we get RMC and it's RM collection view. Um, ideally you wanna name your snippets to be a little better, otherwise it gets very complicated. But you can imagine if we have boilerplate things like setting up um, you know, like a, a button, right? And we don't wanna always have something that we subclass from or have a template for it, we can use snippets to dramatically speed up our development uh, workflow. Now, let me show you one other cool thing or a few other cool things I should say. So let's say I wanna create a image. So here, let's say I have image is a UI image and we wanna use a system name. Well, darn it, I don't wanna open up SF symbols. Opening up SF symbols takes me away from Xcode and it kind of breaks my workflow. Well, snippets actually uh, let you bring those symbols in, uh, in addition to colors as well, just like code. So uh, to open that panel that I had previously shown, there's a little plus at the top right here. You can just actually click that and it opens up this floating window. And here you see at the top, there's four icons. The first one is this like code bracket looking thing. The next one is for media. You can actually bring in media into this as well, whatever images or assets you may have. That way you don't have to go fumbling around your asset catalog to see what on earth you called, you know, some hero image. You have colors. In this case, we have our accent color, which the Xcode template gives us by default. So if I click this, it actually will bring in uh, the color literal. And what you'll see is if you're in a string, it looks like that, but if I click it again, and if I was out here uh, in um, a scope that's not a string, you'll see the actual color literal shows up like that. And finally, the thing that I actually wanted to put here, let's say we want this image to be um, let's go to this one. We want to have a bunch of icons in here. Let's say we want this to be, let's search for house. 
Now we have house here, let's say we want to use this icon, boom, we can click it and bring it on in. The beauty of this is that you don't have to jump back and forth in SF symbols. And actually I myself forget that this exists a lot uh, and I have to open SF symbols. And not that it's the world's biggest deal, but certainly having everything at your fingertips right in Xcode uh, makes your life a whole lot easier. Um, I did it, didn't mention, but you know, you can search any of these, your snippets, your symbols, uh, so on and so forth. Basically everything you can think of is in here. It's basically all the SF symbols. Um, and yeah, definitely check out uh, code snippets, these um, preset libraries of the things for you, like icons. Um, I will mention there's pre-built out snippets. So for Swift, you have things like API availability check. So for example, this is something I myself always forget in terms of uh, syntax. So let's say you want to target something for iOS 13 or um, above or below, you can come in here and use these yourself, closure expressions, instead of uh, doing what every uh, engineer in the world does, which is go to Stack Overflow and find the syntax. So that's code snippets in a nutshell. Let me know in the comments down below if you were aware of this, and if you were, do you actually use it? Do you find it helpful? Um, I know you know other developers, uh, particularly looking at Android devs out there that work with IntelliJ IDEs, anything from JetBrains, they have a lot of these nice um, tips and these toolkits at their at their uh, disposal to speed up the development. So I know all those devs are scoffing at Xcode, but certainly nice to know and nice to use. So let me know if you use it and uh, any other tips that you want to share for productivity. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Drop a like before clicking away. Hit that uh, subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. If you're into iOS, want to stick along on our way to 90K and then 100,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.